Minnesota is the state of hockey. The land of 10,000 lakes has an approach to the sport that is different from the rest of the country in many ways. We wanted to share with you what makes Minnesota hockey so unique from youth hockey structure to playing levels to season details, high school hockey, summer hockey, and other hockey options in the state. Minnesota ranks first in the nation in terms of number of players registered at USA Hockey with over 54,000. That number is even more impressive when you factor in that the roughly 9,000 high school hockey players are technically not affiliated with USA Hockey, therefore cutting out those players that could be counted. Minnesota is truly a fascinating place to learn and grow in the sport of hockey. We hope you enjoy our video on how Minnesota hockey works. Minnesota hockey is comprised of approximately 150 community-based associations that serve as the base of hockey in Minnesota. Associations create teams, develop hockey players, and grow the game at the local level. They are typically managed by a volunteer board of directors. One of the biggest advantages of this model is that you live near and play with your best friends who also play hockey. Imagine more than 20% of your friends at school also play hockey, many of which play in your team. Minnesota hockey at the youth levels is tied to your home address location. The state map is broken into districts that will determine which youth association you will play. If you recall the movie Mighty Ducks, you'll remember that the team you play for is determined by your home's physical location, not where you want to play. Transferring districts is a highly political action to take in Minnesota and is almost always declined. In Minnesota, teams are broken down into skill levels or levels of play. Double A is the highest, then A, then B1, B2, and C. Tryouts typically happen in September or October and you are placed on a team in your association based on your skill level and birth date. In Minnesota hockey, the cutoff date for teams happens on June 1st instead of January 1st, which is customary for the rest of the United States. So a Pee Wee team birth eligibility in Minnesota would be June 1st, 2006 through May 31st, 2008, for example. Classification of teams. Mini mites, six and under. Cross or half ice games, no score kept, equal playing time, non-checking, and the cost is about 200 to 500 for the season. Mites for eight and under is cross or half ice games are standard. Six full ice games are allowed after December 31st, no score kept, equal playing time, non-checking, and the cost is about 400 to 800 typically. Squirts, full ice games, about 35 games per season. There's a three to one practice to game ratio, equal playing time, and it's non-checking. The cost is typically between 1,000 and 2,500 a season. Pee Wee. Uh, there's about 45 games per season, but you can kind of typically arrange additional non-district games at your level. It's non-checking, and the cost is 1,300 to 3,000. Phantoms. Again, there's about 45 games a season, and you can uh, arrange additional non-district games at your level if you wish. It is checking, and the cost is 1,300 to 3,000. Midget play doesn't actually really exist in Minnesota hockey. Minnesota hockey players instead play for their high school teams or in a junior gold program, which is a program for high school age players not playing for their school varsity or JV teams. Junior gold teams are typically associated with a high school or community association program. As mentioned, Minnesota hockey is broken into districts. Let's take a look at each district and the associations that are in each. Occasionally, districts will pair up to compete at a certain play level, Pee Wee AA, for example. High school. Nearly every high school in Minnesota has a hockey program. Based on a tournament attendance, hockey is the most popular high school sport in the state. Approximately 256 schools and over 6,500 participants in total, due to cooperative team arrangements, field sanctioned varsity teams competing in the Minnesota State High School League. These teams are divided into two classes, AA and A. Each class is also divided into eight sections. Only the team that wins their section can compete in the state tournament. Attendance has been strong throughout the years with 22 tournaments eclipsing the 100,000 barrier and in 2015, a record setting total of 135,618 across both classes. 22,244 fans attended the 2016 State Boys Hockey's Tournament Class AA Semifinals at Excel Energy Center on March 4th, setting a new record for the largest crowd to ever 
never attend a hockey game in the state of Minnesota. The Minnesota State High School Hockey Tournament is currently the largest state sports tournament in terms of viewing and attendance in the United States. Minnesota made choice. Choice Winter Hockey is an alternative option to Minnesota Association Hockey. It is a development program that focuses practice time on the individual skill development of the athlete. Athletes that love the game and are driven to improvement thrive in the environment enriched with highly competitive games, including three tournaments. Choice Hockey encompasses eight levels and two geographic locations within Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area. Choice Super Checking embraces the full game of hockey. The goal is to prepare athletes to be safe, confident, and skilled in all aspects of the sport, including checking. So again, they'll start checking as early as squirt ages. So you'll be checking through squirt and pee. There are several advantages to starting checking at a young age, according to Choice Hockey. Choice Hockey is affiliated with the Amateur Athletic Union, or AAU, one of the largest nonprofit volunteer sports organizations in the United States. Choice Hockey includes 45 games, 155 hours of training, and three tournaments. The cost is about $3,000. Triple A Tier 1 Programs Triple A Tier 1 Winter Hockey is arguably the top level of hockey play across the United States. Minnesota does not generally take part in this particular level, opting instead playing association and high school hockey. However, despite this association focus, two programs in Minnesota offer a full Triple A Tier 1 season, Shattuck St. Mary's and Gentry Academy. And one program offers a Triple A Tier 1 program with national championship eligibility, the Minnesota Hockey High Performance Tier 1 team. Shattuck St. Mary's is a private school in Faribault, Minnesota, founded in 1858 and is the most successful hockey program in the United States. They have won the national championship over 25 times. Gentry Academy is a private hockey school in Vadness Heights, Minnesota, and has been around for about five years. They have both AAA Tier 1 teams as well as a high school Class A team competing in the Minnesota State High School League. In less than five years, Gentry has already produced over six NCAA D1 commits and two USA National Team Development Program U17 players. The cost for these two programs? Well, the school tuition, room, and board can range between fifteen and $60,000 a year. It's roughly 4000 to 6000 registration and team fees, and you can bank on about five k to about 15 k in travel expenses. The Minnesota Hockey High Performance Tier 1 team pools the top talent in the 14U, 15U, 16U, and 18U tiers in the state and creates divisional teams that compete against each other to determine the top team in the state. That top team is guaranteed a berth at the USA Hockey National Championships. To be eligible for the Minnesota Hockey High Performance Tier 1 team, you must have played at the AA or A level for your association in the previous season and be chosen in tryouts. Summer Hockey. Similar to most of the rest of the U.S., Minnesota has AAA hockey teams for the spring and summer months. Most of the summer teams in Minnesota will take off the month of July and schedule no games, practices, or tournaments. Minnesota has three levels of AAA summer hockey teams, although they are rarely specified or documented as such. These AAA levels are Elite, Invite, and Open. Elite and Invite are often interchangeable in conversation. Open is intended to give all players at all levels a chance to play and train in the offseason and play games and tournaments as well. The cost for these programs varies, but it's typically between $700 and $3,000 for the summer season. Many of the best AAA summer hockey programs include Minnesota Blades, Minnesota Machine, Euro Americans, Blue Army, Twin City Selects, Tommy Chicago, Miracle Gold, Velocity, Euro Stars, Breakaway Academy, Hometown Hockey, Midwest Mustangs, Northern Outlaws, Northern Wings, MPH, Training. As players get older, training becomes a much bigger part of the summer hockey experience in Minnesota. Traditionally, other sport participation is encouraged by most Minnesota hockey programs and supported in their practice and travel flexibility. However, recently, training and summer-long tournament schedules are changing the way many summer hockey programs are looking at the spring and summer seasons. Regardless of your perspective on this, strong summer training programs and facilities exist to further develop Minnesota hockey players. Programs such as MAP, MAP South, etc. offer some great training in Minnesota. Minnesota is the most successful state when it comes to contribution of talent to higher level hockey. We are the most hockey rich state in the country, USA NHL players. We have 275 players in the NHL have hailed from Minnesota. Minnesotans currently make up 25% of the US born NHL players on current 2019-2020 rosters. USA Olympic players. Minnesota has rostered 144 roster spots on men through 2018 and 21 roster spots on women through 2018. We also contribute college hockey players. Minnesota has produced thousands of college hockey players, way too many D1 and D3 players to list them all out. Other interesting Minnesota facts related to hockey. Outdoor ice rinks are everywhere and they're free. Minnesota hockey is as much about community and friendship and pickup pond hockey as it is about elite level training. It is a great thing when you can grab your gear and head to the local community rink or lake for a pickup game with friends. Hockey Day in Minnesota. Hosted by the Minnesota Wild of the NHL, Hockey Day in Minnesota is a weekend of festivities around the sport of hockey in celebration of the hockey communities across the state. Several showcase high school games are played as well. The Let's Play Hockey Expo. During the Minnesota State High School Tournament, the largest hockey expo in the United States is held in St. Paul, Minnesota. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit about what makes Minnesota hockey unique and perhaps a little bit different than the rest of the United States. If we were to sum up the key difference of Minnesota hockey versus the rest of the country, it comes
comes down to one word, community. You live and breathe the sport at the park, at the rink, at school, with all of your best friends, with family, at restaurants and bars showing the high school games. Hockey is a part of the state conscience. For anyone who has ever played the sport, it's a pretty good chance it has been one of your passions ever since. Minnesota is the one place that in every corner of the state, people will share that passion. If you yearn for a place where playing hockey is as common as walking, bring your love for the game to the state of hockey. Thank you for watching. Best of luck in your hockey season, and we'll see you on the ice.